Hey everybody, another episode of Openly Hostile Opinions. We got Greg over there, I know the name tag says Casey, but... uh oh, Ka- Casey today. Yeah, Casey put on weight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck you, right? Well, anyway, so uh, Casey has still been abducted by aliens and we've been unable to find him yet. Uh, so, it's just me and Greg for now, and he might actually show the fuck up later. Who knows? There's like a big glare off my head. Yeah, there is a glare off your head, man. Damn. You got that, uh, whole Mr. Clean thing going on there. Right. Well, anyway, so, uh, this week's Band of the Week was a stoner metal band, which I'm a huge fan of, stoner metal. They're called Blood Nut. <laughs> They're from, uh, New Zealand. I like them quite a bit. Uh, they've got two albums out that you can get. Uh, they have an older one from uh, Blues from the Red Suns, and their newest album is Saint Ranga that just came out in uh, August. It's available on Bandcamp, iTunes, Amazon, Spotify, Google Play, all the all the all the usual shit, of course. And uh, they're doing something really cool, and I wanted to promote this here quick. Uh, if you buy Saint Ranga, Ran- Ranga, yeah, uh, all ten uh, percent of all the album sales are going to Melanoma New Zealand, so they're donating some money to charity, which is pretty cool. So, if you get a chance, check them out. They're Bloodnut, at Bloodnutband for Twitter. So, anyway, uh, this week I'm actually going to do a beer of the week because um, I thought Casey was going to be here and he's not, so I bought one anyway. So, fuck it, I'm doing it. Th- this is the part where Greg sits here and looks stupid for a minute. I have water. <laughs> So today we have from Sly Frop Fox Brewing Company out of, uh, I'm pretty sure they're Pennsylvania, Reutersford, PA, uh, we have Incubus Abbey Style Triple. This is going to light me the fuck up. I was hoping to have Casey here to share it with me. It doesn't even say what the uh, percentage of alcohol is on this. It's just a lot. <laughs> I mean, considering it's cascade or uh, bottle conditioned, oh boy. Okay, that was less dangerous than I thought it was going to be. I was afraid it was going to shoot job. across the room. <laughs> Fuck you. Let's pour this here. It looks delicious. Can I have some? No, you cannot. Damn. Greg, for those of you who don't know, is a recovering addict and is not allowed. It's an addict, not alcoholic. I said addict. Right. Which means I can drink, right? Well, I don't know. Why don't you ask your PO? Right. No, let's not ask him. All right, so this is an unfiltered. It's very, very yellow. Normally, the beers we drink are darker than that. It's uh, very yellow, and it's cloudy. It's definitely got a lot of yeast in it yet, so let's give her a shot. Oh, Oh. wow, that's an alcohol kick. Woo! (laughs) Let me try another sip of that. There's definitely not even a, a percentage on this. Oh, well, that's certainly strong. It's almost like a sour beer. It almost has like a, you know, like a Saison or something. It has sort of that kind of thing going on for it. But anyway, it's not bad. I like it. There we go. Stop fucking with the knobs. <laughs> I like fucking with the knobs. Anyway, um, I certainly would never have more than one. It's too big of a beer to have more than more than one. Uh, I'll give it a three out of three out of five. I think that's all right. Three out of five. Oh, oh wait, wait. I got to come up with some ridiculous thing like Casey does. Three out of five rainbow bears that keep falling off the shelf behind us. Why is there a fucking rainbow bear? He won it at the fair because he is best friends with a nine-year-old. Right. <laughs> uh, that's that's Megan's gross. All right. Yeah, pretty much. So, anyway, uh, we got some interesting shit to talk about today. Uh, did you hear uh, Marilyn Manson? Uh, you know how he broke his foot and shit? Well, right. Yeah, a couple weeks ago, he broke his foot. Uh, so, he's in a wheelchair, and he's out performing. He was uh, performing in San Bernardino. And, uh, you know, they, they had that big shooting, uh, shooting that happened in 2015. Plus, there was just that other one there in Texas a couple of days ago. So, Marilyn Manson thinks it's a great idea, because, of course, he does. To uh, attach a microphone to a fake rifle and sing in it and point it at the crowd. Because that's, of course, you know, the best idea in the world. Chakra. But here's the thing. So, in his old age, right, he's been forced to issue a statement about it. Uh, (laughs) Here's what he says. And this is what's so funny. 
He, he said, and I quote, In an era where mass shootings have become a nearly daily occurrence, this was an act of theater, an attempt to make a statement about how easily accessible semi-automatic weapons are and how seeing them has become normalized. My art has always been a reaction to popular culture in my way to make people think about the hor horrible things that happen in this world. My performance was not meant to be disrespectful or show any insensitivity. The prop microphone I used on stage was handed to me with the approval of a police officer. My empathy goes out to anyone who has been affected by the irresponsible and reprehensible misuse of real guns. You know what? That's such a cop-out fucking statement. It's like, I would have had so much more respect if Manson had just come out and said, I'm Marilyn Manson. The fuck do you want? <laughs> yeah, Mama Bear said in the chat, um, he's just trying to become uh, relevant again. Well, certainly. I didn't even see the chat. There we go. Yeah, good job. Oh, wow. There's all sorts of stuff going on in this chat, though. I didn't see, even see none of it. He looks like the guy from Fantastic Four. Have you seen the helium beer? Uh, I have, and I haven't gotten a hold of it. Uh, hi, sexy bitch Greg. Uh, Trevor, if you don't just fuck him already. That was gay, Jay. What? I, got, I got a shank on me now, so I'm just saying. I, I like it to, rough. I need to hold Greg's pocket. Give it three out of five uncircumcised penises. Yeah. All right. So anyway, yeah, it, it's it's such a it's such a fucking cop out. I would have had so much more respect if you just said, "I'm fucking Marilyn Manson. This is what I do." You know, wouldn't that have been more respectful than just saying uh, some bullshit canned message about you know reprehensible misuse of guns and I don't mean any disrespect and blah de blah de blah and I need to fucking wear a skirt now because I'm getting old and fat and I don't look yeah, like Manson anymore. The problem is he's getting old. That, that's he realizes it. the shit he used to do was fucking crazy. Yeah. I mean, it, he bears the scars, literally, of what he had done. Right. I do, too. Yeah. Well, well at least you don't look like Marilyn Manson, dude. He just does... Every time I see a picture of him anymore, it's just... Who are you? <laughs> he looks like he ate the old Manson. I mean, yeah, he's pushing, pushing up there, but damn, dude. Just a couple of years ago, he looked fine. Like, the cover of The Pale Emperor he looked all right. All right, so, Greg, you got something you wanted to show off here? Oh, you want me to read this? Yeah. Um, yeah, this is a tweet that I found. Um, it says, uh, C's burger hiding in closet. Me. Hey, mind if I hide in here with you? I need to get away from the kids. <laughs> you know. You know. my wallet. I just need a break. Of course, in your case, you'd be like, yo, you, you trying to score some drugs, man? Right. I'll come with you. <laughs> Anyway, so what is this? Like the uh, the funniest tweets from parents? Yeah, the funniest tweets from parents this week. Yeah, read off a couple. Hey, Fuck here's, it. Here's another one. No one is full of more false hope than a parent with a new chore chart. Oh, God. Ain't that the truth? Parent Talk Parenting is pretty fun if you like spending Saturday afternoons being backseat driven by a four-foot-tall tyrant wearing plastic Pikachu ears. <laughs> oh, man. This is only funny to parents, but God damn if they're not true. Me at 8 a.m. Oh, juice spill. That's okay, kids. I love you. Me at 5 p.m. If one more goddamn drop of juice spills, I'm burning the house down. <laughs> I have I'll legitimately one. I have legitimately flipped the fuck out over spilled water. I have legitimately gotten to the point where my patients are so afraid that I freaked out about water. I have threatened to burn the house down a couple times. I've not gone that far. In your case, you may have. Right. We don't talk about that. No, no, we don't talk about that. Greg has history. A little bit. <laughs> these aren't that funny. Ashley says these are nicer than I am. I believe that, Ashley, wholeheartedly. Uh, yeah, so uh, you got any more there you want to share? Me, where is the library book? Tyler, my dog ate it. Me, we don't have a dog. <laughs> <laughs> I could see my kids pulling that one. <laughs> Mine too. Yeah, that, those poor children can't believe that you have children why not I, you know out of all the people that that would grow up I to am be straight <laughs> yeah all, all the people that i thought would grow up to have children i didn't think either one of us would be the ones to do it of course that, wow i've always wanted this something my three-year-old didn't know existed two seconds ago <laughs> that happens a lot yeah, well, when you think about it a three-year-old's lifespan you know a few seconds ago that's a pretty big chunk you know? Yeah. <laughs> Anymore, whereas we think, eh, a year or two, fuck it, whatever. They think a year or two is an eternity. I think that's it. The rest is just porn. 
<laughs> Gross. Yeah, so uh, before I get too far into anything else here, I got a... I had a kid, Tuffy said. Yeah, it was it, it was it in Greg's butthole. I gotta, I gotta run through this here quick. I get to play my sound. This is my favorite sound effect of all. We present the board of badasses. These people make this show possible. I just like the music. It reminds me of some Matrix shit. All right, so we got two new members of the boards of badasses. Uh, I want to welcome uh, Trevor Duffy into our board of badasses. He uh, pledged us a whole big five bucks a mo- an episode on Patreon, which is a huge, huge help to making this happen. Because yeah. seriously, like this, this shit. This, it took us a year to get fucking black curtains up here. Okay, <laughs> this shit costs money. Drugs aren't for free either. Yeah, drugs are not for free, and we have to uh, keep Greg Greg supplied with his with his needs. So anyway, uh, big 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 shout out and thanks to you for pledging that five dollars a week. It's really a big Appreciate deal. It. Uh, we also want to want to welcome uh, Tigger Tigger into our our group of badasses. Tigger's been a big help to us lately. He donated some computer equipment to us when we were having trouble with the. Uh... Yep, yep, yeah, there's getting badass again. Sorry. He donated some computer equipment to us a while back when we were having technical difficulties. So, <laughs> thanks a lot to Tigger. Thanks a lot to Trevor Duffy. And you guys will get to see your name scrolling in the background at the end of every show. Definitely worth it, right? So, thank you. If any of the rest of you guys are uh, interested in becoming a patron, you can do that at patreon.com slash openly hostile opinions. Uh, you're going to want to do it before next week, though, because we're going to have a very cool after party next week. We're going to do it. Uh, Chef Greg here is going to show us uh, how to make some prison food. And I have started a batch of Pruno, a.k.a. prison wine. Oh, excuse me. So that should be interesting. It may very well kill us. Obviously, Greg won't be sampling. But uh, I, I've 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 been mixing it under the guide guidance of you know very many hardened criminals. So uh, it's got ketchup in it, man. <laughs> Why'd you put ketchup in it? I don't know. It was in the recipe. Whose guidance is this being done under? <laughs> the internet. Right. <laughs> well, anyway, so uh, it must be true then. Yeah. So we're going to chichis are actually good on the outside. <laughs> okay. No, no, they aren't. What is a chichi? I know what a fifi is. It's pretty much the same thing. What's you a chichi? Just can eat it. What the hell's a chichi? Come on, out with it. Um, just ramen noodles with a bunch of other shit in it, and cheese. Huh. That's it. Why do they call and it chichis? Because we're fucking criminals. What? What do you want? I mean, chichi sounds like it would be something that would be Spanish. Ramen noodles are Asian. We didn't go to jail for being smart. All right. Ramen, cheese doodles, and hot sauce. No Vienna sausages, though. You have to put sauce. Summer sausage is a must in a Chi Chi. Ch- Chelsea. Right. No one. No one apparently watches Orange Is the New Black. Ashley said. Evidently, no. I do not. Do not watch the show. I watched like two episodes of that and realized that this is. It was an educational movie. Awful. I'm glad I watched that before I went to jail. <laughs> Definitely uh, helped me. Uh, so so last week you were telling us about uh, uh, about some of the things you had seen in prison after after the show. So some of the some of the the pretty that was, that was last week. Men. What, what were we talking about? Some of the prettier men. The oh you you care to elaborate on that a little bit? Uh, not really. It's I have PTSD from that. <laughs> were you were you partaking? Uh, no, but uh, all right. So we'll just put it this way. I was in an all-male prison, which is normal, um, but there were females there, also inmates. If you put two and two together, I mean, they had tits, okay? Like real, for real? Tits, like real tits. I've, I've seen them out. So They're Not like your tits, like real actual tits. <laughs> so like if a transgender person ends up in prison, they actually go to the male prison? Yes. Uh-huh. How does that work out for them? They actually, don't, you don't fuck with them. I was going to say. They know how to fight. I was going to say, it either would work out really well for them because they could add some 
uh, how, how to put this, they can have some leverage. Yeah, and they usually get taken uh, care of very well. Yeah. So you don't want to mess with their boyfriends. Yeah, yeah, that, that's you know. what I was getting at. But so, they also know how to fight because they have to. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I was going to say it might either work out really well or poorly. So it's apparently it's a, it's a it's a working out well sort of a situation. Yeah, I just stayed away. <laughs> I mean, I looked at the tits. I, like, who wouldn't? Yeah, no. Yeah, so what but if I stayed di- away from them. So what if there's a dick? Just, just cover up with your hand. All's good. As Mama Bear said only if they have... I don't know if they've had the sex change. I don't know. I don't. I, I assume I, that they would go to the female prison. I I don't really know. I, I mean, is it is it? I, I would imagine it'd be something about the legal status. If you've had your, you know, your birth certificate and driver's license legally changed. I, I know they uh, uh, the state is mandated. Like they have to give them if they're taking hormones when they get arrested, like to become a female, mm-hmm. they have to continue giving them to them in jail, which is crazy. Yeah, but I mean, if if you're if you're on that shit and you suddenly stop, wouldn't there be yeah, some bad, bad effects it, from it? I would it's kind of like stopping heroin, like suddenly. But they don't really give a fuck about that. They just kind of let you go through it. I thought they would give you things to help a, you know. Yeah, Tylenol three Tums. and Bentol and Tums. That, Tums. That Tums definitely doesn't do anything, or Tylenol three definitely doesn't do anything either. Um, what if you choose to be non-binary? I don't think there's a legal status of, of non-binary. I believe that's where the the distinction comes in here. Oh, my wife joined. Hey, Amanda. Jay's wife. Jay's nice. wife. Eighty six. Yes, yeah, such as. Right, now we have to be good. We were we're never good. She knows that I'm coming here to make an ass out of myself. Anyway, so uh, yeah, so so the transgender ones go go to the male prison, huh? Yeah. Uh, do they wear like I, I makeup? Think it's, it's definitely all pre-op. I I don't know I. All I see, I seen tits. That's all I cared about. That's all I was thinking. <laughs> Teddies, line up for the bathroom. Oh yeah, they sell. Uh, they sell fucking. They sell makeup, uh, lipstick. Uh, right before I left, they uh, okayed ordering wigs, so you allowed to get long hair now. Well, couldn't you just you know grow that? It kind of comes out of your head if you I wait mean, long enough. Yeah, it takes a while. People <laughs> like me can't, you know. Yeah, you on the other hand, you would need a wig, right? E- even with a wig, though, you would you would not make a not make a pretty woman. I'm sorry to say, <laughs> you would not make a pretty inmate. Uh, so so they're not doing like the shit you see on TV where they're like they're they're like putting eyeliner on with a sharpie and shit. That's not no. They have actual eyeliner. Right? Oh yeah, like real, like a commissary looked like it would be at a female prison, but we're at male. It even says male general population lipstick. <laughs> well, I guess hey, whatever works. Cause I mean I remember seeing shit like those uh, scared straight things where it's like I'm gonna take this Kool Aid packet right and I'm gonna wet your lips I'm gonna rub this Kool Aid in there and that's yeah. your lipstick now. Yeah, you don't have to do that, Pennsylvania. No, no. I've been lied to by television. Exactly. I feel, I feel so let down. Yeah, cause I'll you know what we, we had this one dude up there. <laughs> we called him the bearded lady. He would wear lipstick. He had long hair, but he would grow a full on beard. Cause that'd be me if I cross dressed. Yeah, that's that's, that's why. Okay. Hey boys, <laughs> that's if I ever become a toughies girl. That's how I'm being a bearded lady. You can grow a beard, but you you cut you kind of have that summer beard. Summer here, summer there. Right. <laughs> that's probably from all the drugs. You would think that they can make a shank with that. You know that is a good point. Like, are they allowed to keep the cosmetics in the like the cell? Yeah. Huh. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff we can make shanks from. I mean, do they just not care? Not really. Huh. Well, I mean, you were in a medium security prison too. They didn't have like the stab you like a motherfucker type criminals there, did they? Yes. They did. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, uh, they're everywhere. It's just it's it's not like you see on TV. No, nah, so we were lied to, lied to by our television. Yeah. So how much? They show you the worst of the worst, and, and none of them are from Pennsylvania. Have you ever noticed all those shows? None of them are from PA. I don't know, man. Philly can get kind of rough. Yeah. They, I don't know. I'm just surprised at how different things are from, from their television counterparts. I mean, it makes sense, I guess, but... All right, so uh, moving away from the whole, <laughs> whole prison is terrible thing. Uh, how about we talk about food? Me Brand and Greg will be... Dressing is finally available in kegs. Fuck yeah. 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 French dressing is in 
kegs. I, right there it is. Dude, those are like those... Ranch dressing and a keg. Oh, dude, it's like those pony kegs we used to drink way too much of back in college. You and I What if get... you have to go to the distributor to pick these up? Yeah, can I get a uh, keg of ranch, please? Yeah, I'll take a Heineken and a ranch. And, and a keg of ranch. <laughs> Hidden Valley. Let me get yeah, a Heineken and a half Valley. keg. Well, we used to get these little fucking... Uh, fucking kegs about yay big keg cans and that's what that thing comes in they're only about um what, what would you say 12 inches tall yeah. maybe uh we used to buy one of those a week uh, greg and i did and uh uh a lot. we spent a lot of time not remembering what the hell happened the day before this is why it's hard for me to remember a lot of stuff yeah this is why we didn't um well why i didn't graduate college and greg didn't the first time around oh here, here's a here's a uh public announcement doctors beg you not to cleanse your vagina with a cucumber wait what you heard me click that i i need to know more you know because when i go to cleanse my vagina i oftentimes use a cucumber me too that's i thought that's how you're supposed to do it but i mean is it a yeast issue i mean is it going to cause like infection i'm not sure I just wonder because you usually the odd trend dubbed a vagina facial apparently involves inserting the cold cucumber into your vagina before twisting it around for about twenty minutes. I don't think this is used to clean. No, I think this is no. This making things this... dirtier. Yeah. <laughs> Ashley uh, says I love the cucumber. Is that what we're calling it, Jason now? And you're supposed to leave it in there until it's completely warmed through. So it helps she... sanitize and maintain a pleasant odor. Okay, you know what? Let's. You can keep doing this. This is a good thing. Yeah, I, I'm cool with that. Ashley says she has to change her whole life. Uh, <laughs> and uh, Chelsea says, we all knew you had a vag, Jay. Thank you for finally admitting it. Uh, fuck you. <laughs> I will pull my pants down and prove to you that I have a little acorn please, pecker right here. Please don't. I have a little acorn pecker right here, and I'm willing to I whip it out. I will punch you straight in the dick. <laughs> You're supposed to use water, but not soap. Well... Most things come clean with soap, do they not? What's excuse me? What's wrong with soap? Well, according to this site, the fact is, vaginas are self-cleaning. They don't need any extra help to keep them fresh. I think that's untrue. I don't know. I have uh, I have smelled on occasion uh, ones that probably could use a little doctoring up. That, that's what I mean. I'm pretty sure this is a lie. I, I'm pretty sure I've dated some people in the past that probably could have proven that that to be a falsehood. Uh, I find the weirdest shit online. Yeah, you do. Well, speaking of food, uh, Charles Barkley, you remember him? You know, relevant back in the, oh, I don't know, the 90s. Uh, <laughs> he says uh, he says that that vegetarians do not exist. I, I tend to agree. Right. I was a vegetarian. I mean, vegetarian for a little bit. Uh, so did I, actually. I did it for a little while. Yeah, you remember that? Then I went vegan. I never went that far. Basically, I was a fat fuck trying to lose weight. Same here. Same and it here. didn't work. Nope, it I, doesn't. Like, meat. Like yeah. Meat. Well, well, uh, Charles Barkley says there's no such thing as a vegetarian. Nobody doesn't like meat, Ernie. He was talking to uh, TNT host Ernie Johnson Jr. Uh, he goes, it's not a thing. Nobody doesn't like meat. I agree with Charles Barkley, man. I was watching uh, some YouTube videos just the other day where some uh, some some vegetarians were, were trying some meat that they hadn't had in a while. Some of it wasn't their thing. Uh, Tuffy was a vegetarian. I don't know. I think you're a dicketarian with a, with with Roy over here. But anyway, uh, so they were trying some of the meat that they hadn't had in a while, and uh, the one was like mowing down some chicken wings. She's like, "Oh my god, these are as good as I remember." They weren't. They weren't all right with the steak. They didn't like the burger, but chicken wings. Everybody loves chicken wings. You're killing Chelm and I, Tuffy. Where the hell did Chelm come from, anyway? I get Chelsea. Where did the M come from? I always get. Is it is it a middle name thing? Is it Marie? Chelsea Marie, maybe. Chelm. I I don't know. I just wondered that. All right. So uh, it says C H E L M. What? Oh, I just got the messages. My I'm oh. my phone's from the 1800s. Yeah, Tuffy says now I'm a magician, magician, like as in magician with. But Wait, but how with does this G. happen? A man failed paternity test because genetically he's two different people. Oh, Chelsea Helm, Chelm. It's a chimera, right? I what is? I don't know what that is. Uh, it's when you are basically two conjoined twins in one human being. 
Yeah, I've I've heard of that as Chimerism, which is also a pretty cool metal band. <laughs> or they were. Hey, uh, speaking of metal bands, by the way, if you guys are interested, I have been addicted to a uh, radio service lately called GimmeRadio.com. It's G I M M E Radio.com. Uh, I have literally been listening to this shit for days straight. <laughs> Uh, it, it's great. It's free. It's uh, no no advertising whatsoever on it. It's just uh, you can log. There's no app for it. No Android app for it yet. I guess they just came out with an iOS app. But uh, it's great, man. Uh, they play all sorts of different shit. It depends on the DJ what they're playing. But I have literally been addicted to this shit. I'm not getting paid for this. This isn't a sponsorship. I, nothing. I just I'm recommending it because I have been listening to it nonstop. Uh, it, it's really cool. So if you get a chance to check it out, in fact, I'll type it in the chat here. No, I won't because I'm not logged in. Apparently, Go here. I'm getting there. I'm getting there, motherfucker. This is why show prep is probably a good idea. Shut we up. don't do that. I used to, but then we go off on tangents and we never talk about anything. So, oh shit! So dead people are now supporting the FCC's attack on net neutrality. Of course they are. Fucking dead people. Those motherfuckers. Yeah, you know, that, that whole thing. Voting. That whole. Net neutrality. That whole fucking thing was so ripe with, with fucking uh, botnets and shit, you know. They're going to take it away anyway because they, they didn't really give a crap what we had to say to begin with. But I told you, man. There is no, there is no reason why you should ever not support net, neutra net neutrality. I don't give a crap whether you're... Uh, Republican or Democrat or whatever, if you use the internet, you should support net neutrality. Because if you don't, you're going to end up paying like a fucking metered plan. Like, all right, it's five bucks for Google, and then it's $12 to use Facebook. That's what's going to end up happening. And you're going to get throttled. Mm hmm. And they're going to be able to tell you where you can and cannot go. Right. Oh, uh, well, I it's think. It's going to be awesome. I think what's going to end up happening is you're literally going to get a tiered plan internet service. Uh, did you vote, Jay? Not today. I did not. I actually forgot it was uh, oh, right. election we day. Supposed to... Wait, I'm not allowed to vote, am I? Fuck. Nope. You're a felon. You can't vote. I actually forgot that it was. Uh, it was. It, honestly, at this point, there's no point in me voting because if I were to go vote for a Democrat, which I would right now, because I think our president's a moron. Uh, if I were to go vote Democrat, it would mean nothing, and my vote legitimately would not count because this district is so overwhelmingly Republican. It has not won a democratic candidate in over 33 years there's no chance of me making any kind of a difference whatsoever so uh legitimately my vote does not count so there was no point in me getting off my ass and going so a lot of people say that and that's why your vote ends up not counting if you went and voted and all the people that said that same exact thing that you just said went and voted might make a difference just saying yeah well uh I, I can say that all I want, but the fact of the matter is that this area is rural, and rural people vote Republican, even though it's completely retarded for rural people to vote Republican because it's against all their own best interests, but that's beside the point. I really do not want to get involved in this fucking, <laughs> fucking political debate. Yeah. I honestly couldn't care any less. Oh my god, this beer is strong. Cool. Well, why don't you drink some more? Because I think Casey's going to be um, here, yeah. and I'm going to make him try it. It is 8.40, and he is still not here. Yeah, maybe maybe the show will be over before he gets here. Probably. Oh, shush, Amanda says, yeah, she she voted Republican. Still don't know why. But that's beside the point. Great. I don't feel like getting into a debate with my wife. That's not a good thing. Burger King expertly trolls McDonald's. She's, What'd they do? I don't know yet. This is probably going to have sound. Does it have anything to do with that creepy-ass King mascot? I don't know. That, that, that fucking king mascot is creepy as fuck. Chelm says, if he isn't here by nine, I'm sending a search party. Uh, oh, excuse me. Yeah, but if we find him, the only kind of partying will be when he doesn't show up. You guys, you guys are codependent. You need your Casey too much. We need him just to make a show. Right. Another train wreck night. I don't know. I think it's going well. What do you guys think? Are we doing good? I think we're doing good. We don't have Casey to get all mad, though. That's the problem. Casey gets off on these rants. 
You know, like when I talked about the whole Marilyn Manson thing, he'd have been off on a 20-minute tirade. He'd been a whole Alex Jones in it right now, flipping out about it. It's not funny! Do you understand that? Be more funny. I don't like them putting chemicals in the water that turn the friggin' frogs gay! <laughs> How the hell does anybody take him seriously? The most expensive grilled cheese in the world costs $214 and is gilded, gilded with gilded. real gold. Why okay. the fuck would you eat gold? I think it's time for Ashley to come back on. And, of course, the person who said that was Ashley. <laughs> Ray Flanagan salutes you with oh, oh, Ray Warren no. Flanagan. That's, that's... My bad. Casey really needs to install an ad blocker on right. his computers, man. Especially he, for this he's, situation. He's fired. He gets the uh, middle from now on. Yeah, he he's he's fired. He doesn't get to come into his own own spare bedroom. Right. AKA studio. Yeah, our studio. The trap house. You guys should see this shit, man. One of these days, I think we're gonna have to do a patron patron video. Alex Jones shoots a fifty cal from the hip. Alex Jones shoots a lot of crazy from the hip too. I mean, putting frog chemicals in the water to turn to frogs gay. Come on. I love Alex Jones, man. He 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 is absolutely the the best entertainment there is on the internet. I mean, there's 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 videos if you go on YouTube of uh, just montages of him tweaking. It's the best thing ever. Between him and uh, Bill O'Reilly and Sean Hannity, those guys all tweak over stupid shit. Alex Jones though definitely takes the cake though. He's he's definitely the best. I mean, Rush Limbaugh used to back in the day, but he's he's mellowed out in his old age. Oh, hey, uh, on a completely unrelated subject, by the way, uh, Mama Bear says, I tried to watch him yesterday. He went nuts. Of course, that's what he does. It's his whole show. But anyway, uh, uh, Anthony Cumia occasionally is on InfoWars because Anthony Cumia is a, 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 a just a staunch Republican. Uh, anyway, so so Anthony Cumia, uh, Compound Media, he used to uh, be on the Opie and Anthony show, which... Greg and I are huge fans of. We're huge fans of. Uh, do you know that uh, Anthony Anthony is now his show is with him and uh, Artie Lang. Really? Yeah. How cool is that shit? I I didn't even know Artie Lang was still alive. <laughs> probably shouldn't be. No. He probably did more drugs than me. In fact, you're basically our Artie Lang. Great. You know, <laughs> like recovering heroin addict. You know, you just come on, crack jokes, you. Know. Occasionally come in in sunglasses. We never know why. Toffee, like like I said, I now carry a shank with me at all times. Greg, I like you and I want. Now <laughs> we can do this the easy way or the hard way. The choice is yours. I'm pretty sure you're asking for the hard way, are you not? Right. <laughs> I, I don't like doing shit easy way. Well, I'm pretty sure shit's definitely going to be a part of it. <laughs> Man, I was hoping Casey would be back by now. I wanted to ask him about his trip. Yeah, he didn't really talk to anybody while I was gone. I got a, I got a couple of things out of him, you know, because I was telling him about some things show related wise. But otherwise, he didn't say nothing. Oh, here's, a, here's a pretty funny one. So he sends me a picture and says, "Ah, I'm eating so so much good food out here." It's like I went to this restaurant, right? And they have this pot in the center with boiling soup. And you like you take these like pieces of meat and shit and you stick them on a skewer and put them in the soup and like, dude, it's fondue. Have you never heard of fondue? It's like a common that they've been doing that shit since the fifties, probably before that. Yeah, for a long time. Fondue's been around for quite a while. He got raped a lot. Tuffy says. No, but I did a lot of raping. So, so do you do you have any interesting cellmates? Um, not really. I mean, my first, uh, uh, Sally, when I got up to Rockview, um, he was a fucking piece of shit. How so? Um, he was juvenile life where he's been in for 17 years or whatever. When I got there, he thought he was this big ship just because he had 17 years in. Oh, and, uh, he was a faggot. Sorry. I mean, a gay guy. My bad. That was bad. Um, that's, he, uh. Please, if you are listening to us on iTunes, please do not report us. I'll make him be better next time. Yeah, and that's sorry. Um, so he had a girlfriend, guy, friend, girlfriend. Uh, 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 yeah, he had a Whatever. he had a significant other on the inside. 
Yeah. Okay. And uh, apparently they had a falling out or something. And one day down at Medline, they got in a fight. Now, I wasn't there. I was at Chow. Um, but apparently he got beat up by his guy girlfriend. So they both ended up in a hole. But I just thought it was funny. He got beat up by a girl, which was a guy. So is this one of the ones that was on hormones actively? No. Oh, the the girl. I don't know. I, I didn't really talk to him. Um, I'm confused. This this whole thing's too too much. <laughs> yeah. So what did you do with your time? There was time? nothing really interesting. I mean, we did a lot of cooking, uh, a lot of reading. We played cards a lot. I had to go do a therapeutic community, so I did a lot of groups all day trying to learn how, how to be a drug addict. Apparently, we could be cured, uh, according to them. That's pretty much what we did. A lot of sleeping. We had TVs up there, so we watched TV, um, go out to the yard, lift weights. It's really, really boring. I assume that's half the punishment. So, so what's in a typical jail cell? I'm curious. Is it just the two beds and a shitter, and that's it? Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. In in the counties, it's like that. Um, upstate, you have like your cabinet and stuff. And um, where I was at, we could open the windows. You had windows? Yeah. I assume there were bars on them. No, I mean, we were inside. Like, you go out, where are you going to go? There's like 14 more fences you had to go through, so it wasn't nowhere to go. Um, But, yeah, you had to shit her in there and the bunk beds and shelves and stuff. I mean... Is it straight up like you see on TV, though? There ain't no privacy in the shitter. It's just a fucking no. metal metal thing in the... Th- yeah, absolutely. And the, the sink's attached to the back of the shitter? N- no, in, in counties, most county... Uh, jails around pennsylvania anyway yeah they are um upstate they're completely separate oh yeah we have porcelain toilets and sinks in in, in our cells he didn't have no curtain or nothing though well that's what sheets are for oh so you put up a sheet so you can take a shit in peace yeah or you just wait till your cellar leaves and then you have the room to yourself (laughs) that's that's, you know i bet masturbation was awkward yeah (laughs) or you could do that in the shower i mean or yeah. in the yard. I mean, some people did it in the yard. <laughs> a lot of people. That's what we did. <laughs> well, yeah, I heard uh, I heard a story a while back about uh, some guy who got denied parole because of excessive masturbation. Well, yeah, he probably was doing it in front of the cops. I mean. <laughs> I mean, is that a thing? Like, that's actually against the rules? You're not allowed to masturbate technically? No. You're, no, you're not supposed to. I mean, are you supposed to do it ever? <laughs> um, yes, I, I think so. But I so. mean, you imagine you're doing it. There, there's female COs that work there. If you're doing this in front of a female CO, I mean, okay, it's well, just if like being on the street, that's indecent it, exposure. Well, yeah, if you're doing it in front of a female CO, but if you're in your own fucking cell and, you know, under the covers and you're spanking one, is that really a problem? Well, that's your word versus the CO. I assume that your word doesn't go very far to the CO. Absolutely not. They told me when I got. Um, to classification jail they told me uh the uh what's it called uh the system uh that we, we put paperwork in or whatever against the co's uh, grievance the grievance grievances. the grievance yeah, system okay. is stacked against us so don't even bother that's what they told us don't Good bother to know. it's stacked against you you won't win yeah well you know you have to figure too that each one of them co's has to deal with like 30 you fuckers you know, they probably occasionally have to uh, get a little less than nice. Yeah, and, and I don't know, uh, you know, about the riots that happened at Camp Hill way back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that jail was really strict. Well, Maybe I'd imagine so, so. Like, we, if you weren't dressed properly coming out of your cell when we were going to eat, they would tell you, they'd walk by, they'd tell you, go back in and, and fix yourself and shut the door on you. You ain't eating. So go ahead, fill out a grievance. They were going to write you up for not being dressed. They they don't play there. Well, why would you not be dressed? Like, what would you do? You got to have your shirt tucked in, your shoes tied, all that stuff before you come out of the cell. Jesus Christ. Yeah. I thought they didn't really give they a rat's ass about that sort of thing. They don't. Uh, like, at my home jail, Rockview, it didn't matter. They'd open a door, hey, go eat. And you just walk over the child. Like Camp Hill, they keep it real tight. Well, with all those riots, I can't really blame them, you know. I mean, those those people's safety was on the line. You know, they want to come out to their kids. You can't blame them. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, they, they keep real tight control over there. How do you know all that shit just from, from hearing stories from people who are in there? Or? No, I, I you go 
Were you in Camp Hill? Yeah, you have to go. Camp Hill is classification, so you go. I spent four months there. Oh. Um, everybody has to go through there. I didn't know that. Yep. So, yeah, uh, we have this lovely thing in Pennsylvania called the uh, Offender Database. <laughs> We're able to keep tabs on people. It, I don't remember seeing that. Yeah, yeah, I was there for four months. Oh, no shit. Yeah, Camp Hill is about, what, an hour and a half away? Something like that? Probably from here, yeah, about. Rockview is probably about 45 minutes, I'd say. Yeah, that's State College. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, it's we interesting. Actually, we were actually, that jail was, I think it's like four miles from the stadium. Huh. We watched, we watched the fireworks from the stadium on 4th of July. It was pretty cool. No kidding. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm I'm endlessly endlessly fascinated by by the extent of differences between reality and what I had seen on TV over the years in movies. I mean, jail's not fun. I know. can't imagine so. Yeah. <sighs> we aren't in like California or going to Rikers or none of that kind of stuff. I mean, I can't imagine even those are that much fun. No, they're probably less horrible. But I mean, so what do you do? Just kind of sit there all day and do nothing? Yeah, I mean, you get a job, go work in a kitchen, whatever. You, they have what they call a CI shop, which is uh, corrections industries. Like Pennsylvania actually makes like furniture and stuff like that that they'll sell to the public. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and it's all built by inmates. So they have clothes. All, all the COs, outfits, and all that stuff are, are made by uh, inmates. So, so how does one go ahead and get a catalog? Like I want some... I want some uh, some furniture that was made from the suffering of those who had committed wrongdoing. I really don't know. You know what, though? There's one crazy thing. You can only get, they're called the whole shebang chips, right? They are literally the best potato chip in the world. But you can only get them in but prison. You can only get them in prison. So if you want the best potato chip in the world, you got to rob somebody. So you can't even order these on Amazon? No. They're made by like a commissary. Hey, look who it is. What's up, cocksuckers? Oh, hey, he's here. Come, come join us. Come join us. Oh, I'm glad to be home. Oh, thank God. <laughs> what do you mean, thank God? We got seven minutes. We Good got job. <laughs> we, we were sitting here. We, we're, we're treading water. Here, here's your shit. Get in here. Oh, it's okay. Oh, I, fuck. I Definitely just unplugged everything. Oh, I did not. It's just one little wire. What are you guys talking about? Uh, we were talking about Jail. just how astounding it is, how different it What's is. What's up, everybody? How different it is uh, between reality and... Uh, give that shit a try. No, I just got off a plane. I am tired. I am not having any alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> Casey's here. Yay! Uh, Although, uh, according to our screen, you're Greg and that's Casey. Oh, sweet. My name is Greg. I'm addicted to heroin. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Casey. I'm a douchebag. Yeah, I know. I know. So, how is California? It's fucking weird. California is the weirdest fucking state I've ever been to in my life. You know they don't... uh have grocery bags there uh they don't no you have to buy grocery bags and they're 10 cents a piece and i was standing there and i'm carrying like all this alcohol and like solo cups and shit yeah and um this lady was like do you want to buy bags i'm like no i thought she meant like those polyester stir or whatever the fuck they're called uh, yeah the, the reusable ones yeah the reusable ones so i'm all like you know no i'm good so I'm fucking standing there, and she puts all the things down, and uh, she, I'm like, well, where's the bag? She's like, you said you didn't want to buy any. And I looked at my friends, and they're like, you have to buy bags in California. I'm like, they're 10 cents a piece. 10 cents? It's fucking weird, man. <laughs> okay, so you're being threatened in the chat right now by Ashley and Chelsea. You better come over there after the show. Yeah, I'll, I'll be right over. Oh, actually, i got to show you something. I'm part of uh, Vape Nation now. <laughs> Vape Nation? I thought... Uh, I bought a vaporizer. <laughs> it's a uh, fucking oh, awesome. Low battery. It's on bitch. It is nerds flavored. Try it. It's fucking awesome. I'm gonna try to quit smoking. <laughs> Good luck. You'll get more addicted to that than you were smoking. Wow, yeah. that's amazing. 300 watts, baby. <laughs> <laughs> My God. When I first started, I had to pull start it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to try it, Greg? Yeah. It's fucking. It's delicious, dude. I is love any it. Drugs in this? No. <laughs> So hopefully that Vita can or whatever the fuck it's called won't Jesus, kick in. Jesus, man. That fucking that nurse. Really that tastes straight up like nerds. Yeah, dude. It's awesome. Um, I went to Medieval Times. If anybody knows what that is. That's it's, fucking awesome. Yeah, they have a Medieval Times where I went. And uh, the whole time I could just think about Jim Carrey fighting what's his name in it and going. Cool guy. Uh, how's everyone doing in the chat? I miss you guys. 
Uh, we missed you too. Last week we sunk. It was bad. <laughs> it was bad. Did you watch it? No, I didn't. It was, it was a it train wasn't. wreck. We did fine this week, but last week it was a train wreck. No, we didn't really. know. There was all sorts of awkward dead silences and shit. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like my love life. <laughs> you that beer over there. Um, another weird thing about California that I thought was really funny, um, there's a lot of homeless people there. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, it's warm. Yeah. Where uh, you were, anyway. So, we're at this um, uh, grocery store. It's called El Chavo's or something. Yeah. They have Mexican-only re- uh, grocery stores there. It's crazy. Like, oh, yeah? everyone speaks Spanish. I had no idea what was going on. I thought I was going to have to climb a wall at some point. Um, <laughs> and uh, they have a problem with homeless people stealing their grocery carts. <laughs> so what, what they do in the parking lot is they put fucking laser like fences around it like dogs. You know, the dog collars. And one of the wheels on the grocery yeah, cart. Yeah, they lock. They had yeah. it in Philly. I'm like, Jesus fucking Christ, man. It's like a prison system for grocery carts. Well, I saw a meme a while back that had... Uh, the grocery carts, you know, like Aldi's and shit, where mm-hmm. the, the, you have to put a quarter in to yeah. get it off. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, we, it, it said something to the effect of, man, they're selling these barbecue grills at Aldi's. They're only 50 cents. <laughs> they're Somebody like... had them on a fucking fire pit <laughs> cooking burgers and hey, shit. Man, whatever. So how you doing, Greg? You still fighting the demons? Which ones? <laughs> <laughs> All of them. You know, gay sex. <laughs> you know, as a matter of fact, we did discuss that earlier. Yeah, we've, we've already been through that. So wait, well, what do you mean, Greg's well, gay now? No, we no. we <laughs> talked about the the. Do you know that? Do you know that transsexual uh, women, men, whatever you want to call them, are are actually in the male prison? That seems right, awfully yeah. dangerous. Yeah, because I was watching a documentary about how everyone thinks that you know drugs and alcohol and all that stuff's worth everything in prison, but it's actually. You know, butthole. Booty. <laughs> yeah, booty hole. Right. Uh, you know, you have all those men locked up in a small area. Well, they're going to want to fuck some. And that reminds me, man, I haven't I haven't emptied my balls in a week. They hurt. <laughs> Dude, there's a bathroom there. Like, you might be able to help like, you out with that. <laughs> the toughie seems awful, awful interested in Greg. Maybe you can convince him to go with you. You know, he's sexually frustrated. Is he still hitting on Greg? He. Oh, yeah, he says Greg will be mine. Casey, you can't watch, you sexual demon. <laughs> Yeah, my fucking balls hurt, dude. I need to have sex, like, right now. <laughs> they need emptied bad. They're, like, swollen. Well, call your call your lady friend. I'm sure there's some duct tape around. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> dude, you, you should thank me. I came in here to, like, set this computer up today. Yeah. And I, th- I swear to God, it was negative 20 in this room. I swear it. Yeah, it fucking sucks. I turned I turned your damn heater on. So um, I got to do something because it's supposed to be, like, in the 20s. Uh, the whole next week at night, so... You're going to have to take that blanket off your living room so you can get heat in here so the pipes don't freeze. I know, and that's the thing. I have someone coming over to fix my coal stove, but uh, I think he forgot, so... Uh. Well, it's not like you've been <laughs> here. Way, did you see what I found last week? What'd you find? Party poppers. Where'd you find him at? Over there. He I shot him at the camera. That. Oh, when did you shoot him? Today? Yesterday. Uh, no, last week. Or last uh, week. Speaking of shootings, how's Texas doing? Just joking. Uh, uh, that <laughs> You missed earlier. Uh, oh, really? Here, I'll, I'll throw it back to you here, real quick. I'm sorry. I don't mean to. I don't mean to rehash shit for those of you listening. But uh, Marilyn Manson, uh, he was he was at a show in San Bernardino, California, which, as you know, had a shooting in 2015. Yeah. He has a microphone attached where the scope would be of a fake rifle, and he's pointing it at the audience, singing to him. Yeah, I I saw that. What was that all about? What did he explain? What his message was? Yeah, yeah. Okay, he said, uh, "I'll give you the short version here. This is an act of theater, an attempt to make a statement about how easily accessible semi-automatic weapons are." Blah 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 blah. Didn't mean to. Didn't mean to offend anybody. Just trying to say my empathy goes out. Blah 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 blah. So basically, Fuck, yeah. what he should have done is come out and said, I'm Marilyn fucking Manson. This is what I do. Yeah, he's always done shit like right. that. Like, who gives a fuck? Like, don't backpedal it. Just be you. Whatever. Just be Manson. But I'm sort of sad he's all anti-gun. Fuck you. <laughs> he's not. He was just sick. I know, but I just, I don't know. I like I mean, he got, da- you know what? He should be anti-gun. That's how he broke his foot. Or uh, broke his ribs or whatever. A giant gun statue fell on him. I'd suck his dick. It's been inside Rose McGowan. I I used to want to fuck the shit out of her. And Dita Von Teese, too. It's been inside I, Dita. I don't know who that is. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. You're going to have to Google allow her. Allow me to enlighten her. <laughs> You're going to have to Google her. Uh, because I have no idea. Is she a movie star? Nah, she's like a, a model. A uh, model? Yeah, uh, she's like a fetish model. A fetish model? God. People can't just have normal sex anymore. 
Well, she was like the only reason I know her is from his music videos, actually. Oh, oh, but wow, she like yeah. does the whole Ooh, Betty yeah. Page look, you know. Ooh, I would eat her pube hairs. Mm. Yeah, so that's that's who Dita Von Teese is. And I would uh, Von Teese uh, all inside of her. Her Dita. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, she looks hot. Yeah. I like the whole fifties thing she has going. Oh yeah, there. I love that look. Yeah. So, oh, Chris, um, anything what? else new? Why yeah, left? No, and- no, we're trying to figure out why you live in a trap house. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What? Right. A trap house. If, uh, we we had to educate last week what that is. That means a crack house. Yeah, what, what, pretty what, much. What's that supposed to mean? I mean, I've been in nicer trap houses. <laughs> He's insinuating your house is a dump. Of course it is. <laughs> My landlord doesn't do anything. Oh, good luck finding your computer. <laughs> what is that supposed he to mean? He sold it for drugs. Oh, you yeah, fuck. Need, I need. <laughs> how I much need you get out of it? Twenty bucks. <laughs> Twenty bucks. I paid two thousand for it, man. Oh, you always love saying that, but <laughs> it ain't worth shit on the streets. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So, so how much does twenty bucks uh, get you? One bag. <laughs> it's only twenty bucks a bag for heroin. Why do you think so many people go to stuff. heroin? <laughs> God, that's fucking. That's cheap. why people no, that's go expensive. It's usually like five. Are you serious? Yeah. Holy. That's fuck, why man. people go from from like the opioids that are super expensive to heroin because heroin's cheap. Yeah. yeah. I, I fucking. I just like perks. Every once in a while, I like taking perks. But when you get into heroin and all that stuff, no, no, thank yeah. you. That's I don't even like that's perks. They make you itchy with perks. Yeah, exactly. Because I know there's some kind of bill Congress is passing or some opioid bill. I but I don't know what the fuck it's all about. Yeah, Trump has declared war against opioids. Yeah, because yeah, when we declare war on things, that emergency. always helps. Yeah, because <laughs> dare. Remember that dare. Yeah. I used to have a dare t-shirt. Yeah, the the whole dare class was basically, hey, we're going to talk about all these drugs and dare you to do them all. (laughs) (laughs) Jesus Christ. You think I learned how to do this stuff? (laughs) I know. Jesus. Actually, the neighbor hurts perks. You're a mother, damn it. Get your shit together. Yeah, Ashley, I'll I'll be over after the show. Um, yeah, they're gonna do some perks together, huh? She. By the way, uh, <laughs> Ashley and Chelsea were over here to meet Greg. You failed. What do you mean I failed? Good job. You you weren't allowed to meet him. Yeah, you failed. They they met they him. Just came over. They're not supposed to meet you. They're like the biggest fucking drug addicts in the <laughs> world. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure I was. <laughs> I don't know, man. Free free peyote for Greg Tuffy says. <laughs> peyote. Man, it's, a, it's from a cactus. It's, it get, it's, it's a what the Indian smoked, but I wouldn't recommend it. You might be taking it. You might have your land taken from you. Chelsea <laughs> says you rat. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. Mama Bear's back. What's up, Mama Bear? How are you doing? Yeah, Mama Bear's been pretty consistent lately. Yeah, I'm glad she keeps sticking around. There's a lot of people snitches in chat. Get stitches, Casey. What's that? Snitches get stitches. Oh, whatever. Promises, promises. <laughs> she she likes the. I can't think of the fucking word right now. My brain's like scattered. I've been on a plane since four o'clock in the morning. <laughs> you jet lagged as fuck, I'm sure. And and just dealing with Californian people. All they did was fucking eat, man. Ugh. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Well, it's just like when we had Sagan on the show and she was explaining, like, yeah, you got to learn how to speak Californian. Avocado. <laughs> yeah. Like, I had sushi for the first time, and I must say. It was, sushi is awesome. I, it was, uh, I had a tiger roll. Oh, those are good. It was really, really good. I wouldn't go out of my way for sushi, but I understand why people like it. Because when you eat sushi, it's like a million flavors. Oh, my oh, God, yeah. Yeah, like, the first time you take it, you know, eat something. You take it. Yeah. <laughs> Greg's over here like, He's like, flashbacks, toilet toilet wine. Um, <laughs> you, you, you taste something, and then, like, you taste another thing, you taste another thing, and it's, like, a million flavors, and then by the end, you, you've been through a million, so it's just crazy. And then I had Korean barbecue where you have the shit in front of you and you grill it all. That was cool. I had squid for the first time. Squid tastes like you cut a piece of tire off a fucking thing. It and that, like if, it's, if it's cooked wrong, it's very rubbery, but if it's cooked right, it's actually tender. Yeah, but it didn't taste like anything. No, nah, like, not really. All. It doesn't yeah. taste like much. So if anyone wants to try squid it's nothing special it tastes like nothing breaded and fried it's pretty good but yeah. just about anything breaded and fried yeah. is good and then we had uh the red shit what was it called the red pot and it's basically they have uh three <laughs> soups in front of you and they boil the soups and then they put meat and fish and all stuff and it boils it and then you eat it it was pretty cool fondue yeah fondue's like cheese and not shit. always yeah but it wasn't like that i don't know it was it was weird i i all i did was eat asian food i had one thing that was an Asian food, and that was Kentucky Fried Chicken. <laughs> they have KFC down there. Yeah, they do. They got actually. a Colonel. Yeah, they don't have Dunkin' Donuts All in right. California, it's, though. It's California, not Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's Mexico. So, so Greg has uh, Greg and I decided something without you. 
since you weren't here to object. What's right. that? Next your house week is probably gonna get uh, burnt down. <laughs> <laughs> Next week for your for our after party, we're making the prison food, and we are making Pruno, and you and I are sampling. The fuck is Pruno? You'll find out. It sounds like an old Greek guy. Hey, that duck go old day. Prison wine. <laughs> prison and it, wine. And it very well could cause us to die. <laughs> oh, I've been I've been welcoming that for like ten years now. Bring it on. Yeah, yeah. See, see, it's made with like a, a, a bacterial fermentation, mm. so it very well could kill us. We, oh, may, right. we may very well get uh, botulism from it. Oh, nice. So I mean, I'm still alive. So <laughs> barely. Yeah. <laughs> well, unfortunately, this was the end of the show. Yeah, I dude, I I was telling Jay, I was like, I expected to be here around eight thirty, but that didn't work out. So, well, for all of you guys who are missing my my balding little friend here, uh, we <laughs> we have him back. He's coming back, and tomorrow we have fucking construction to do. So that's going to be interesting. Construction. Yeah, remember that we're starting on the bar top. Oh, tomorrow we're here? yeah. I Means you got to get up. Right? All we got to do is cut. What cut. time do we have to get up? Like seven. I was going to start at like noon. Oh, what the oh. fuck are you talking about? God. I know better than to try to I get have, you to I do have, something with power tools early. Fucking I got to be counseling all day. So. <laughs> I I gotta, <laughs> Greg wanted to join us, but I knew damn well you weren't going to get up early. Yeah, no. So Greg has to go to counseling. How does that make you feel? <laughs> get ready. How does that make you feel? One word. <laughs> <laughs> Pissed. <laughs> Pissed. <laughs> oh, geez, so, yeah. uh, by the way, if any of you have a job for a convict, Greg needs a job. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I went. I told you I went to uh, uh, that interview today, right? At Wendy's. I was totally getting hired until they asked about my felonies. Oh, Jesus. You should have seen her face. She just went, oh, that's great. <laughs> it's like, yes, I Never mind. Felonies. So they basically told you no? No. It's I mean, just her face yeah, expression. We'll, oh, well, we'll call you back. <laughs> no, you won't. Right. What Wendy's was this? Somewhere on Williamsport. <laughs> Shit, oh. They're probably watching. <laughs> they probably are watching. They're like, what's this convict up to making toilet wine? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I explained to Greg how to end the show. He's our director today because I don't like doing it. <laughs> it sucks, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So you got to go back to the music, play the music, and then hit the... I uh, closed and, that hours ago. You dumbass. <laughs> <coughs> I'll fix it. <laughs> there you go. You got to play the music. And then you gotta hit the uh, keep end of the minute. show. <laughs> there you go. Play Do play the been... second song because we got through the first. Saint one. Ranga. That's Bye. It. <laughs> we'll see y'all later. Have a good one. Peace. This has been the Openly Hostile Opinions podcast. <laughs>